Hey everyone, Neil here. Uh, I decided that it wasn't too late. I was going to put out a quick video. Super quick. Uh, this video is actually pretty straightforward. We're going to release the mod. So how do we do that? Well, that's a good question. We will go into our modding folder, like so, in Neocraft, and we just need to be in this directory right jaw. We will shift and right click. We're going to open a command window. We are going to write uh, Gradle W space build. And this shouldn't take too terribly long. Boom. There you have it. Now, I wish that it was just as simple as that and that was all we had to do. Um, let's go into our build folder and libs, and you'll actually see a mod ID jar in here. If we open that up, you'll see that this example mod is in here, but it's empty. I've long since deleted that, so I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. So I just delete that. But I do see my mod in here, right? Sweet, everything's been built. But the problem is, is I'm missing my textures. So what I have taken to doing is just coming in to my source, Neocraft, and then the assets. And what we'll do is we'll just drag it into here. And we choose yes. Like so. And then what we want to do is, I'm going to kind of show you this from the beginning. We'll open up our Minecraft launcher and we'll do a new profile. And this one is going to be, let's just name it Our Mod. And we are going to do a release of 172, like so. And we'll save that. And we'll hit play. But the problem is, is I didn't actually choose... <laughs> uh, I didn't actually choose the profile that we wanted. Our mod. Play. So to download the files for 172. Here we go. We want to just run it once. Really, that's all we need to do is just do that. And then what we'll do is we'll actually go to uh, files.minecraftforge.net and we'll go to our recommended build and we want to choose the installer for Windows. Now I've actually already downloaded this, so I'm not going to go any farther. I'm actually just going to cruise over to my downloads directory and think that it is somewhere in here. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Forge installer. <coughs> so we're going to install client and just hit OK. Off it goes. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. And then we can go back to our launcher, like so. And we still have our profile of our mod. We'll hit Edit Profile, and we're going to choose Use Version. And we'll scroll down to the bottom, and we'll actually see Forge 1060 right there. We're going to choose that, but we're also going to choose Open Game Directory. Now, I already put something in here a little bit earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my there, and there, and there, and the Build, Libs. I'm going to grab this, and we're just going to back up until we get to here. We're going to paste that in, and now we're going to save and play. So in we go. Yay, mods. You'll actually see that Neocraft is here with our version. We're going to do a single player, we're going to turn down the volume, crikey, single player, get out of here, get out of here, we want to create a new world, not an existing one, because, um, we want our world gen to happen, right? Boom. There we are. Do, 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 do. Ooh, is 
this a hole? Let's find a hole in the ground. Looking for a hole in the ground. Why are we looking for a hole in the ground? So that way we can see our stuff. Here's pretty much everything that we've done so far. Is our mop in here? It is. You see that I haven't been very good about updating the names and stuff. My bad. Ah. There's some stuff that belongs to me. Sweet. Some more stuff. Stuff and things. Ah, here's a little hole. And... Oh, I think that's my tin. So yeah, that's it. Quick and easy. Easy peasy. Japan squeezy. I don't know how that thing goes. But it's there. It's out. We are ready to package that bad boy up and down. Let it put it on an ad fly. Make some bones off of that. Some money. Some cheddar. Some nickels. They pay like five cents for every eight bazillion hits you get. So, you know. There you go. Pay your way through college. Pay off some of them student loans. Where's the rest of my stuff at? Am I just on one big ass island? Looks like I am. Let's go over here. This is a different biome over here. Oh, I see a hole. I see a hole in the ground. Iron. Iron. There's some of that. I believe that's nickel. And some vanadium. And the pink is manganese. Ooh, all kinds of stuff. There's my topaz. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. We're down here. Already. Down at the bottom. Cool. So there you have it. That's exporting your mod. Not bad, huh? Pretty quick and easy. Um, if I... Or excuse me. If you export your mod and you're looking at your stuff and you're seeing the... The, the pink and black blocks, that means that you didn't put your assets folder in there. So put your assets folder in that jar file and you can open it with 7-zip. Just copy and drag and drop that stuff in there and you are G2G. Ooh. I love doing this. Bam. Yo, 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 yo. to fall like they're supposed to. Anyways, that's all I got. <laughs> ADD boys getting distracted. So, releasing your mod, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you have any trouble, and I'll help you out. Thanks, everybody. Good night.